Welcome fans, welcome to The Great Chef Show. And today we've got a special item in store for you that I'm gonna be making. And you can also make this in the privacy of your own home because I know y'all people like to live privately. That's right everybody. We got a great show for you tonight. I've been away for a while, so I'm bringing it back with a little beverage, a little sugary beverage, a little milky smooth beverage, a little cold beverage. So we've got something great in store for you today. We are making old-fashioned chocolate milkshakes. That's right, fans. This recipe is going to give you two. I said two milkshakes of about the 8-ounce stature, possibly 12. It all depends on how you want to roll with it. Let me give you the ingredients first. Right here, we're starting out with half a cup of milk. We like the shakes not too milky or watered down. We like the shakes a little thick, a little creamy, a little ice cream style. For the ice cream, we have right here, Bluebell ice cream, homemade vanilla, best ice cream in the country. Some of you fans that live up north, you may not have this ice cream. And, you know, too bad for you, so sad. This is Bluebell ice cream, homemade vanilla. Any vanilla ice cream will work. I prefer the home style homemade vanilla. You can also use vanilla bean ice cream. I'm a big fan of the Bluebell ice cream, homemade vanilla by Bluebell. Okay, so that's your ice cream. Now, how much ice cream do you want to use? You're going to need to use three cups of ice cream, okay? Three, cup of, three cups of ice cream because we, like we like the shakes thick. We don't know, want no watered-down chocolate milk. This ain't the Nestle Quick Chocolate Bunny up in here. This is the Great Chef, and this is the Great Chef Show. So this is how we roll with it. All right, so what you're going to do, you're going to take two big scoops with one of these, your ice cream scooper. Two big scoops, that's going to equal about one cup. Okay, so we need three cups in here. Two big scoops times three cups or whatever I'm trying to say is six big ass scoops. That's what we're rolling with. Six big scoops, aka three cups, two big scoops to a cup. All right. Then we're going to put in two tablespoons of Hershey's genuine syrup. This ain't fake syrup. This is genuine chocolate flavor. It's good. Then we're going to be putting a little bit of this in there. Now this is purely optional. This is optional, people. You don't have to put this in here if you don't want. If you want, you can go with the milk, the ice cream, and the chocolate syrup. That's it. But what if you really want it to be an old-fashioned chocolate shake? If you want to go back in time to the 1950s, you get out of school, where do you go? You go down to the drugstore. You sit at the soda fountain. It's like a bar, but for kids, non-alcoholic. You sit at the soda fountain. You get that nice cream soda. You get that cola. But what was the thing they always ordered in the 50s? They ordered the chocolate milkshake because it was the best chocolate milkshake. Some enjoyed a good chocolate malt, but we'll get to that in an episode on down the line. Only finding it here on The Great Chef Show. So tune in to http colon forward slash forward slash triple w's dot youtube dot com forward slash a dotty ninety five where The Great Legend Show is always coming at you live. And on The Great Legend Show, you'll find us, The Great Chef Show. Just find the playlist on this side of the screen, the right hand side of the screen, you'll find the playlist. All right, so like I said, one teaspoon of this if you want to go back in time. Also for our topping, another optional topping, we got Ready Whip, whipped cream. I'll get it, hold on. There we go, Ready Whip, whipped cream. Hope you got that. If you didn't, you're fired. Ready Whip whipped cream, we'll put that on the top. That's optional. Some people don't like whipped cream. Some people don't like salty creams. But we got whipped cream right here. And then another thing is also optional, and I did not include it in this video, is you could put a cherry on the top. You could put a cherry on the top. But I don't like cherries, so I'm not putting that on the top. All right, All so quick rest is here. We have the Ninja Professional Blender. <laughs> Sounds like a chainsaw, it's so powerful, doesn't it? Check this out, I wanna show you something real quick. This is the Ninja Blender. Has one, two, three, four, five, six, six blades of power. Now, if you get one of these Ninja Blenders, and you're gonna find a link to this Ninja Blender 
on my blog at thegreatchefshow.blogspot.com. I'll throw up a link for all you blog fans, okay? If you want to buy one of these blenders, buy it straight from me, The Great Chef. You'll be glad you did. Now what we have, we have the blender here. We have a safety top, see? It doesn't turn on when the top's not turned on. So that's really cool, good safety mechanism. Also, you want to match the arrow right there to the arrow on the handle. Arrow to arrow right there. Push it all the way down. Lock it into place. When you lock it into place, the ready light comes on. So it's locked into place. Alright. So let's take this off and we'll add our ingredients inside. Now one thing you'll notice on the lid here, you want to um, put the top part of the blades in that little hole there because that way this is a plastic, this isn't glass, so you don't want to scratch up your plastic. We're going to go ahead and put our ingredients in. Start with the ice cream. Okay, there's one scoop there. Two scoops here. That's about one cup. There's another scoop there. It's going to come out. There's another scoop. Okay, here's the fifth scoop. This is about two and a half cups of ice cream so far. And finally the last scoop. And actually, I'm all done with my ice cream here. So here we go. Put that in there. Alright. Alright. So that's that. All good. Now, I'm going to do half a cup of milk. Okay? About right there, half a cup of milk. You may want to pre-measure your milk beforehand. I didn't do it because I kind of know my milk and I know my measurements. Now we want to add two, two tablespoons of this. You don't have to pre-measure, just get a feel for it. There's one, there's two. About two tablespoons of that. Now one of the secret recipes, secret ingredients here, if you want to go back in time to the 1950s, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. You can find this on the baking aisle at your local grocery store. A teaspoon of that. All right. Good. Now, let's mix this up. Here we go. in there to see if it's a desirable consistency. Yep, good. It's my desired consistency here. Good stuff. Now, since this may come out a little thick, I'm going to take the blades out. Try to spill off any extra milkshake off the blades here. Put them right there. Okay. Also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this spoon to help me pour it out a little bit. Alright. So we've got some poured out. Okay. And we're going to be right back after these important messages. All right. We hope you enjoyed those special messages. 
So what I have here, now we're going to top it off with a little Ready Whip made with real cream. This is Dairy Whip Topping, original brand. If you're wanting to lose weight, you can get the light stuff. But let me tell you something, it ain't going to help you lose weight. That's a bunch of mess right there. But this is Ready Whip. Shake it up. Shake the cream up. All right. Bring it in close. Look at that whipped cream. Whipped cream topping. Look at that. Now, if you like, you could put a, a cherry on the top of that. But we're going to just do it like this because I don't like cherries in my milkshake. Check it out. This milkshake here is an old fashioned chocolate milkshake. And I think it's time for a little taste test. Let's test it out. Get some of that whipped cream. Mm. I can honestly say that this old fashioned chocolate milkshake has passed the test. It's been prepared by the best. I'm your host, The Great Chef. Thanks so much for watching The Great Chef Show. This has been homemade, old fashioned chocolate milkshake that only the great legend on his set at the great legend show can make thanks for watching peace out god bless We got right here, let me get it plugged in, ready to go, coming at you live, brand new, hot off the shelf, we have the Ninja Blender. Uh, Ninja Blender, coming at you live, uh, hello, uh, oh, this is on wrong, wow, all right, that's a good safety precaution, Ninja Blender right there. Let's pause it and start over again. Huh?